by Jonathan Rees 1 October 2017 1254 p.m. The Millam spirit shone strong this morning Sunday October 1st as the community came together to address the devastation of yesterday's floods. This morning, residents whose homes flooded were visited by a reporter from the Mail and showed the selflessness and strength of character Cumbria is well known for. Mary Shovelton, of Market Street, lost her carpets and large appliances after the waters swept into her home. She said it took only 20 minutes for her home to be inundated and added there was a good four inches when I got back home. Showing amazing resilience, she added that she is better off than some people. Incredibly. She says what Chess lost is not as bad as some people. Pick.twitter.com 6 terrific Jonathan Rees at Treason 1 October 1, 2017 Other residents narrowly escaped the deluge, having watched desperately as the water lapped at their front doors. Michaela Monroe, 37, of Market Street, said I looked down out of my window, and it was a swimming pool. It was at the top of my step, and at next doors. Water was bubbling out of the drains. You couldn't see the pavement. We're the lucky ones. Other people have been devastated. Shabon Pennington, 37, also of Market Street, added everyone was just chipping and getting help. It didn't matter, we all just came together. Meanwhile, Mill Mayor Angela Dixon told of how she bawled her eyes out after a handpen thank you note from one of the town's children was pushed through her letterbox. CLLR Dixon spent all of yesterday out clearing the town drains and helping residents as people desperately tried to stem the effects of the flooding. Mayor Angela Dixon was out rotting drains during the worst of it. She has this put through her door this morning pic.twitter.comsc1hot0f, Jonathan Rees at Treason 1 October 1, 2017 CLLR Dixon said Millam is the charitable town that I know. If you know something needs doing, it will be done. We are resilient. We will get over this and move on. Last night, an appeal was launched with the hope of raising £8,000 for the people of Millam and the surrounding area whose homes were damaged following yesterday's flash flooding. A massive relief operation took place yesterday Saturday 30 September after dozens, if not hundreds of houses were flooded or damaged when torrential rain overwhelmed drains in a matter of hours. After a fresh band of rain that was heading towards Copeland changed course, residents are now able to take stock and begin what could be a lengthy and difficult cleanup process. Now, the town's ATC community group have decided to help people get back on their feet. They are appealing for donations, no matter how small to help residents and business owners start rebuilding their homes and livelihoods. An initial goal of £8,000 has been set, and people can donate to the Just Giving page by clicking here. Full story to follow.